Hi, and welcome to the Aura Progress tutorial. Users are able to display progress bars in their confluence pages, like you can see here in this example. This block here is one Aura Progress macro, and we are using it in this context or in this example to underline the completion of different key results of a specific objective. So as you can see here, we are tracking the revenue and other specific key results. Furthermore, you can also display an overall progress, which is summed up or which is summing up all the different values that you see here into a percent value. So if you want to activate that, it's your call. All right, let's have a look how you can insert and configure this macro. In page edit mode, you can see that the Aura Progress macro displays its content exactly as in the page view mode. So what we will do right now is we will insert a new Aura Progress macro. I'm just clicking somewhere on my page and now you see my cursor is active. Then I click on plus, I click on view more. And now in this field, I'm searching for Aura Progress. Click on this element, click on insert, and now you are in the Aura Progress Editor. The Aura Progress Editor is divided into two different tabs, the General and the Content tab. The General tab applies its options to all of the available progress bars. So if I'm clicking here on Add Bar, so this is how you can create new bars, all my options here are applied to all of them, as you can see right now. To edit a specific bar, simply click on the bar so that it's selected. Now you see that the tab, which is active, is now the content tab. And here you have all the options to edit this specific bar. So let's do this. Um, for example, we want to change the color of the bar because this bar maybe is already completed like this. Um, this bar here is maybe, um, let's stick to the example, um, a key result that is maybe a little bit behind. So maybe we would display this in the red color. And maybe all the other ones that are going normal, they can stick, for example, to blue. So this is how you can um, edit the bars independently. So let's have a closer look on all the options here. So in general, in the general tab, we have different styling options like edged. So maybe we'll make them a little bit bigger so that you can see them. So you see that the corner here is now edged. Then we have the rounded corner and the circular corner. You can manipulate the height just like that. And if you see those boxes, those fields here, you can always override them. So you can either enter a value of your choice or uh, you can simply use those arrow buttons here. Um, here um, you can activate the overall progress, which then sums up all the uh, values here from above and sums them up into a percent value. This also works, for example, if um, let's say we will edit this bar and we won't display this as a percent uh, value, but as a number, for example, just like that. And as you can see, um, the, the, the summed uh, value still works. So this is a great uh, and easy way to uh, yeah, automatically calculate an overall progress. All right, uh, so you can also activate or deactivate the shadow. And that's it for the general tab. Now let's jump into the content tab. I will again uh, edit the red bar here. So each bar can be renamed, of course. So for example, you can uh, enter it, uh, enter the, the label to make it more clear uh, what's, what's this bar all about. Um, you can change the colors as you, as you already saw. You can also um, use a second color. For example, let's pick a red that's much lighter than the other one. And you can do beautiful things like that if you want. Um, then we have two different value types. So um, the first one is the percentage type. Um, here you can see that there is a slider going from 0 to 100. 
and it automatically fills um, the bar. But you can also use numbers. And in this case, for example, I'm using, uh, yeah, a dollar, but, but maybe you want to use an, a different label, um, not dollar. Maybe you want to um, say unit or something else. And uh, you can just um, enter the, the label to uh, contextualize this uh, bar even better. What you can also do is you can reorder every bar just like that by, via, via drag and drop here. All right, that's it. Then you click on the save button and there you go. Here is your Aura progress. All right, I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.